Good morning, guys. It's me again. Um, gonna film some, some not so glorious stuff today uh, on the boating side of things. I'm down at the marina, gonna hop in the water and give my bottom a scrub and a scrape on the boat. It's been sitting for probably four or five days. Typically, it runs every two days or so, so it keeps the bottom fairly clean when it's moving. But it's been so dang windy here in Key West. I mean, it's blowing 20, 25 knots, so I'm not really doing much. Um, so there's gonna be a little bit of growth on there and most of you probably think this is extremely boring but some of you might think it's interesting so i'm gonna film it anyways and um a good friend of mine greg at yankee captains i keep my boat right next to his um he texted me last night and said he's got some lobster trap line uh wrapped up in his props so i'm gonna hop in there and clear that as well let's get to work I don't, so I don't know how well you can see it, but it's only been sitting for about four days, five days maybe. Um, and I've already got a pretty, pretty mean hula skirt right there all the way around. So that grows pretty quick. That's not, that stuff's pretty easy to get off. We'll see once we get in with the bottoms. Like a lot of times you get these barnacles and shells and um, little crustaceans that attach pretty quickly, which are harder to get off. Uh, what I'll be using mainly to clean my boat I use these uh, scrubbers. Typically, I get coarse from West Marine. They were out of course today, so medium I'll have to do. And for the harder stuff, I use these scrapers, this little guy to get into tighter spots, but this big one does the trick mainly. You can tell it's already been put through its paces. And for Greg's problem over here on the big boat, um, he's got two giant props and there's these um, uh, rope cutters. They're like, they almost look like uh, bicycle spokes or not spokes, the disc where the chain grabs onto and they are razor sharp. So to clean his boat, you gotta make sure you have gloves. I've done this for him quite a few times. Um, realistically, gloves and a really sharp knife. I take a fillet knife in there cause it's, you'll see once I get in there, all the rope that gets wrapped around this. But these, the main thing is these uh, rope cutters he has on the props. It's two, two disc and if the rope gets in there, they spin, I'll point them out when I get in there, they spin and cut the rope so he can stay clear. But it still tends to wrap around the uh, the propeller, but at least it doesn't seize it up is the purpose of them. But I'll point them out when I get in there, so. Let's rock and roll. My boat's good to go, time to go cut some rope.
So I finished up with the boat, um, got all this rope out, but happened to see a couple lobsters over there. So I'm gonna go back and grab those for dinner. Score. Ooh. Found two down there. This guy was the only keeper. The other guy was just a hair short, but I'll take it. Little bonus for dinner. So I got that lobster tail from today. A uh, little bonus while cleaning the bottom of the boat. Got some brewskis too. But uh, Will called me, my chef friend, as you've seen before, and uh, he said he's having a little get together tonight doing lobster rolls. So I'm here, we're doing lobster rolls. Will doesn't disappoint, it's gonna be a good time. Hello. All right, we're back at Will's. We're cooking shit. What are we making tonight, Will? Lobster rolls. Lobster rolls. Mm. Babe, what are you eating? Normally I would steam them. Oh God. <laughs> but because we got so many people to feed, I'm gonna boil them. And the problem with spiny lobster is that it's not as salty as a uh, main lobster. Okay. So main lobster stands up better to boiling than the spiny, but if you add salt, and because we can add salt when we mix to make the roll, like if I was just eating them plain, I would bake them. But because we're gonna be adding other ingredients, this is fine. So that'll come back up to a boil. And we'll do 10 minutes and they'll be perfect. Perfect. Whoop. Put them into the ice bath to stop it cooking. Oh yeah, ice nap, baby. <laughs> Let them sit in there how long? Until they stop steaming. <laughs> it's a technical term. <laughs> so the easiest way to crack these, you take them out. Is it still one on your side? Oh. That was aggressive. <laughs> and that's it. That's pretty cool. I like that. Never seen it done that way. That's new to me. Let's do one for demonstration. They don't need to see all of them. <laughs> but cook perfectly, nothing translucent. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it's already, that was how many minutes? That was nine and a half minutes. And then straight into ice water. And then the ice water brings it down to being cold. So a Connecticut lobster roll is lobster with hot butter. The main lobster roll is what we're gonna make with lemon, celery, mayonnaise, but not too much mayonnaise. That's yeah. how people ruin them, with too much mayonnaise. I hate mayonnaise. You just put a little bit to get it shiny. That's it. Look at that. That's a lot of lobster. So we already cut right. up. Our celery, lemon. So really when I say like a little bit of mayo. Well, you got a lot of ingredients though. So. Like that would be it for that entire Really? Bowl. Yeah, it's well, just- That makes me happy. Just enough to make everything bind, that's it. You don't want to taste the mayo, you don't want- Ma Madeline's gonna be offended, she's from Texas. <laughs> they eat fried mayonnaise balls up there. No. <laughs> Fun. It's gotta be a top split. What we got here? 
We got Arnold's. Pepperidge Farm would do. <laughs> and copious amounts of butter. Speaking my language. So the lobster, in the main lobster roll, the bun is hot, the lobster is cool. I think that's what makes me like it. <laughs> so you see what I mean where the, the mayonnaise just makes it shiny. It's not yeah. like covered in mayo. Because when people make lobster salad, it's gross to me. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Oh man. <laughs> All right, who's gonna be my taste tester? You in dessert already? Oh my god! All right. Yeah, but that tastes like candy. All right, I'm going in since everyone else is scared. <laughs> this is Will's lobster roll. Quit looking at it, weirdo. Peter showed us. It's snake thing. Hell yes. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Dang, Will. That's rocking. Artistically, it wasn't that Will. <laughs> you guys got to work yep. hard. We did it? Oh, yeah. No, that's it. <laughs> that is it. Hey. Oh, God. Not the brand. Voted in the top ten lobster roll in New York five years in a row. Top ten lobster roll in New York five years in a row. Really? Yeah, Greenpoint Fish. Yeah, Will's been on the Food Network like a hundred times. I did the lobster roll. That was for a test. This is a practice. Try it, babe. The world wants to see. I don't think anyone wants to see me. Like 90 people are going to watch this. <laughs> well, that's a lot. <laughs> 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 Is that not really good? No, that's super that's good. Really good. I like it. The <laughs> celery crunch, the bread is nice and toasty and buttery. Oh, my God. Wow. That is really good. That is incredible. You have to try it. <laughs> That's it for today. Like, subscribe, share, hit the button. It's free. Helps me, helps you. We'll check you guys next time.